<laughs> Good morning. I was racing the clock this morning, <laughs> getting my birthday greetings <laughs> finished. And I did get it all done, although it was already 4.44 when I turned around and looked at the clock. The clock on my computer screen is different than the clock behind me. The clock behind me is actually faster by a minute and a half or two minutes. Anyway, <laughs> I sort of cheated today on the uh, title in the blurb in that I took the cue yesterday from... Uh, from one of my friends, actually several of my friends, not just one, who wanted me to talk about Monsanto. So I'm titling today's talk, Taking Action Regarding Monsanto, and the blurb is actually totally written by somebody else. So it's not even my blurb, but I want to read you these things just so that you have an idea of what this worldwide demonstration is all about. On May 25th, activists around the world will unite to march against Monsanto. Why do we march? Research studies have shown that Monsanto's genetically modified foods can lead to serious health conditions such as the development of cancer tumors, infertility, and birth defects. In the United States, the FDA, the agency tasked with ensuring food safety for the population, is steered by ex-Monsanto executives, and we feel that's a questionable conflict of interest and helps explain the lack of government-led research on the long-term effects of GM products. Recently, the U.S. Congress and President collectively passed the nicknamed Monsanto Protection Act that, among other things, bans courts from halting the sale of Monsanto's genetically modified seeds. For too long, Monsanto has been the benefactor of corporate subsidies and political favoritism. Organic and small farmers suffer losses while Monsanto continues to forge its monopoly over the world's food supply, including exclusive patenting rights over seeds and genetic makeup. Monsanto GM seeds are harmful to the environment. For example, scientists have indicated they have contributed to colony collapse disorder among the world's bee population. For more information, and I do provide the link, and I noticed they made a couple of mistakes here. Uh, I don't want an S on the end of these words, so I'm taking it off. Uh, where is the other word? Whoops. <laughs> I did the wrong thing. I'm making it worse instead of better. <laughs> uh, All right, anyway, I'll, I'll look at it later. I didn't know when, when I was looking at all of these invitations, I didn't even check to see if, if anything's happening locally. But ironically, here in Melbourne, Florida, May 25th, 2 p.m., uh, Melbourne City Hall, uh, they're having a march here. And there's already, including myself now, as of this morning, 357 people signed up on Facebook to go including many of my friends, including the Busk Brevard Busking Coalition, who has a song called Cheeseburger, Cheeseburger, in which they actually name Monsanto in the, in the song itself. Monsanto, I wouldn't say it's the most evil company, corporation on the planet. That would probably go to the United States of America Corporation. Uh, however... Uh, it is certainly up there for those that produce products. Monsanto is probably at or near the top of the list of the most destructive, the most anti-human, the most anti-life, the most anti-truth companies on the planet. Now, I don't know what the effect of marching is, but it does affect the human consciousness, and I do know that. It does make people aware even if it's only on a subconscious level of issues that have to be dealt with as we change our world from a world of lies and corruption and, and uh, dishonor that is uh, put forth by the governments, by the banks, and by most of the major institutions on our planet 
we're changing that to one of truth, one with compassion and cooperation, one based on values that are long-standing human values in all of the world's religions, even though the religions themselves may have been com certain, well, not may have been, have been compromised in the matrix, have been diluted and sometimes, dis not sometimes again, oftentimes distorted, and the truth may not be as clearly evident as we would like. Now, I, again, change actually takes place in the invisible realm before it takes place on the physical realm. It's frustrating sometimes to me that that's how it works, but that does seem to be the way that it works. And it is what we are told by spiritual advisors as the way it is. Now, I have long looked at what, you know, show me, show me where it's doing some good on earth. Well, the marches that we had in 2011, all across Northern Africa and Europe and the Middle East and actually around the world, uh, the Occupy movement and stuff like that, that even took place here in the United States and became, it took a longer, longer time for the United States people to become active, but we did, and many people were arrested. And it just shows what it does when we do this is it shows how corrupt our government is. And it also shows how courageous the people are who are willing to stand up and shine their light of truth in a world that has been extremely dark, but is getting lighter and lighter and lighter, even though it seems as the lights come on that there's more darkness, that there's more evil, that there's more corruption. We're just more aware of it than we've ever been before because the lights are on. So I know... Um, What's her name? Uh, uh, yeah. Mother Teresa. She said, you know, she will not have a march against war, but she will have, but she will join marches for peace. And a march against Monsanto goes against that metaphysical teaching, if you will, that whatever you're against increases. Well, I don't necessarily agree with that. I never have. Uh, because to me, what you're marching against is is just a, me a method of shining light on something that is no longer acceptable. And the way our governments and the way our corporations run the world is no longer acceptable to an ever-growing number of people, an exponentially growing number of people, as the human race wakes up from its slumber and sleep, wakes up from the nightmare of the dream that, that destroys and the dream that captures and, and, and incarcerates humanity in a slave system of debt and of fear and of terror run by the very governments that are supposed to be the opposite. So I'm giving my approval and consent to this march, and I'm actually going to be there at two o'clock. I mean, I, I believe that that is available on my schedule and that there's no conflict. I'm hoping that's the case. Uh, but come Saturday, uh, this Saturday, that's this Saturday. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be at city hall in, in Melbourne, Florida. And I guess there's thousands of cities around the world where this is taking place. There's countries, Europe has basically banned genetically modified seeds, much of Europe and other countries are trying to do the same thing in the United States though. Even when they, when they had a thing on the ballot in California uh, in the last election to, uh, to require labeling of genetically modified food, it was defeated because of all the money that Monsanto poured into it. They don't want you to know that their poison seeds are in so many of the foods. And, and the truth is, even much of the organic food is cross-pollinated by uh, with the... Uh, genetically modified crops. So nothing, nothing in our food supply anymore is pure. Then on our soil is being uh, compromised. And of course, our air is being compromised. Our water is being compromised. They're doing all sorts of things. They being the establishment, they being the, the ones that want to uh, dismantle the human population. Those that want the psychopaths that want to destroy life why? They live on the planet too, but maybe it's not just human beings. 
It's just brainwashed human beings that are controlled by demons. Who knows? Who knows? There's all sorts of things out there. I choose most of the time to focus my energy and my light on the changes that are positive, but still make people aware of the world that we're living in. That's extremely important. It's always been important to me. But I agree with those that say we need to start creating the things that we want on the planet. And thank God that is happening around the world as the people of the, the one people and the one people... Uh, well, the one people, not just the not just people that were connected or are connected with the OPPT, but people that are connected with the freedom movements, people that are connected with the release of uh, technologies that have been hidden and suppressed, including healing technologies, including actual cures for cancer and other diseases that the establishment doesn't want cured because it makes a lot of money off of selling poison pharmaceuticals to everybody, and poison chemicals and everything else. Monsanto is just one company, DuPont and, you know, virtually all the major corporations that, that produce chemicals and foods are involved in poisoning our planet. All the oil companies and, and natural gas companies are involved in polluting our environment and polluting the earth. It, it, the list is endless as to what this criminal, insane cabal that, that has been running the world for so long are doing to, on the one hand, poison everything, but on the other hand, the reason behind the reason is it's waking us up. And this is a good thing. This is a wonderful thing that human, the human race is being awakened to the reality of the world that we live in so that we can change it to a better reality, even though both realities may be said to be illusion because physical reality is always said to be illusion. Yet it's real because it's real experience. Experience is never an illusion. Experience is always real. Always. What you experience is what you experience. What you feel is what you feel. There may not be truth behind the feeling. There may not be solid anything behind the, the apparent reality. But nevertheless, the experience of it is real. We have created the ability to experience things. And we are waking up in the realization that what we have chosen to experience is contrast and a lot of evil, a lot of darkness, a lot of ignorance, a lot of lies and misconceptions. We are becoming disillusioned, though. The illusion is falling away. The illusion that, well, of course, people want to do what's best for everybody because why would they hurt themselves? Well, that's obviously not been the reality that, of the world that we're living in. And so I'm, I'm really happy to see uh, pushing 400 people signing up for this. And, and there will probably be some that will not show up that signed up. And there will probably be others that didn't sign up on Facebook because a lot of people don't use Facebook. Uh, that will actually be there. So it should be a fairly good turnout even here in the relatively small city of Melbourne, Florida. But I'd, I'd like you, if you have something going on in your area, I'd like you to join with these people and just send a message to higher consciousness as well as the consciousness of our leaders that this corruption is no longer acceptable. We don't need this kind of, of leadership anymore and we certainly don't need rulers we are our own free people, and it's time that we stand in our freedom and stand in truth. That's all I'm going to say for today. Uh, I did invite Aristo to do a video with me, uh, although I haven't gotten his answer yet, I don't think, unless it came in since I sent him the request. But in any case, if he agrees, there will be a video with, uh, with Aristos tomorrow, another conversation between the two of us. Again, thank you for listening. Namaste.